pre-juvenile. The general test standard at this level should be a demonstration of a basic understanding of axis and the ability to execute prescribed movements with balanced proficiency. The skater should demonstrate bilateral ability to control the upper body while creating power and executing turns and rotational movements. Three juvenile moves, forward and backward perimeter power stroking. Forward stroking, power and extension are the focuses. Going backward, power and edge quality are the focuses. There will be a maximum of seven optional introductory steps on this move. Make sure after the crossover step that the skater steps perpendicular to the axis onto a solid inside edge. Back transitions should be on two solid inside edges going perpendicular to the axis. Pre-juvenile pattern three, three turns in the field. The primary focus of this move is edge quality. This move was developed to teach the skater the eight basic three turns in figure skating and develops balance and the strength necessary to hold a sustained edge until the moment of a turn. There are several things to remember when developing this edge quality move. One, as each lobe starts, the placement of the blade as it takes the ice is perpendicular to the continuous axis. This helps set a quality edge. Two, the skater must sustain balance and control before each three turn to help placement of each three turn on the half of the arc. Three, control checking after each turn is critical. Pre-juvenile pattern four, three turns in the field. Now the skater is performing forward inside to back outside three turns. Notice her efforts to skate steady edges, place the turns on the top of each lobe, and control rotation before and after each three turn. Some technical points to remember in teaching three turns are, one, correct body alignment over the skating hip is essential to balance. Don't let the skater break at the hip at the moment of a three turn. Two, three turns that are scraped are caused from being off the skating hip or being on the wrong part of the blade. On forward turns, the weight must rock to the ball of the foot. And conversely, on backward turns, the weight must quickly rock to the back of the blade. Three, the upper body must rotate in the direction of the turn. The hips will follow. And remember, the primary focus of this move is edge quality. Pre-juvenile pattern five forward and backward power change of edge pulls.
The primary focus is power. The purpose of this move is to learn all of the change of edges in skating. This also is a useful exercise in developing continuing acceleration and leg strength. This move uses the continuous axis of the arena. If these are done properly, there will be a rumble or a rip sound created by the pressure of the blade against the ice. Power poles teach the skater rhythmic knee and ankle action coordinated with the action of the upper body. The pre-juvenile moves test, backward circle eight. The focus for this move is edge quality. Standards and expectations, no introductory steps, round circles similar in size, sense of organization and technical repetition, proper use of blade during push-off, backward push-offs perpendicular to the axis. To start this move, a skater can mark their center. The move begins from a standing start and pushes onto a back outside edge. The third circle traces over the second circle and the skater switches feet. The fourth circle will trace over the first circle and that will complete the move and the four circles of the figure eight required. Pre-juvenile moves, five step Mohawk sequence. Edge quality and extension are the focuses for this move. This new pattern eliminates the second side of the original move, so now the skater doesn't have to repeat it. All five steps of the five-step mohawk sequence should be skated in an even tempo. 